In this video we're going to sew a little petal pouch. Look what I found in the tree here. <laughs> Let's make one. Hi! Thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semidolls. This pattern and all my other patterns are available in my online shop. The link is down below in the video description. And now let's get started. The materials are also listed in the ebook, so you don't have to write everything down. Fold the handle pieces in half, open it up again, fold the edges towards the center, fold it again and press. Fold it in half, open it up again, fold the edges to the center, fold it again and press. Sew along the sides of the handle. Fold over the extra bit on the sides of the outer pouch side twice. This will be the opening for the ribbon casing later on. And sew it in place with a few stitches. Now put the edges of the pouch sides right sides together and sew along the edge, leaving the opening for the ribbon casing open. And thank goodness we did not sew the opening for the casing shut. Fold the inner pouch side piece in half as well and close it along the side seam, leaving a turning hole of about 2.5 to 3 inches. Pin the bottom piece to the outer pouch sides next.
sew the bottom piece to the sides. Now we baste the inner bottom piece to the batting along the outer edge. Pin the bottom piece to the inner pouch sides next. Sew the bottom piece to the inner pouch sides. Turn the outer pouch piece inside out, put it inside the inner pouch piece and pin them together along the scallop top edge. Sew along the scallop top edge. 
connecting both the inner and outer pouch piece. Then clip the corners and curves. You can also cut the fabric a little bit closer to the seam. Um, trim the seam allowance. Turn the pouch inside out through the turning hole. and close the turning hole by hand. Now stuff the inner pouch into the outer pouch, pull out the scalloped edge and press it. This is a little bit easier when the turning hole isn't closed yet, so then you can use a bamboo chopstick or something to turn the scalloped edge inside out. and press the edge. You could also top stitch along the top edge. Next we sew the casing for the ribbon. So one straight line above and one straight line below the opening for the ribbon. All the way around, sewing through both inner and outer pouch fabric. I'm removing the accessory box here on the sewing machine so I have a little bit more room for the pouch while I'm sewing.
Now you can pull the ribbon through the ribbon casing and add beads to the ribbon if you like. We also need to add the handles. So if you want to wait with um, pulling the ribbon through the casing right now, you can do that. But somehow I filmed it this way around. <laughs> To attach the handles, fold over the bottom of both handles and pin them to the opposite sides of the pouch, just above the top seam of the ribbon casing. Sew the handles to the pouch in a rectangle shape. So it should look something like this. You could also attach the handles underneath the casing for the ribbon. I think I might even like this option better. Then we're done. Now we can pull the ribbon tight and tie a little bow to make it look all pretty. And here it is. And because it's so much fun, I just got busy and made a few more pouches so I could put them up in the tree here and have some petals in my tree. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little pattern. I hope you liked it. It's a lovely little pouch for your girl's little treasures or as an easter bag maybe or for some toys or maybe as a nice little bag when you're going out when you make it in satin for yourself what are you going to use it for thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video and it was useful to you please give it a like if you like subscribe for more videos leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to facebook instagram and twitter i'd love to connect with you over there see you next time bye